Hi, Genki Call here with your Soul Forge offerings for the week of April 1st, 2024. I didn't see anything really significant in the summoning stones here, but as far as legendaries go, uh, notably we have the Spooky Imp, who is notable simply because it is um, seasonal. The imps are seasonal. Right now, the only imp available in chests is the spring imp. Um, so if you want to have all of the things before the fall comes, that's the only way The only way that you can get the spooky imp right now is legendary tasks or by crafting. So the gimmick is with the imps that they gain 8 magic on whatever mana color they use. And then they all do scatter damage. So, um... Yeah. Now, you may be looking at this thing and thinking like I did. Transform a random enemy into a wraith. Or all allies gain three magic. I personally hate the gimmick of transforming your enemies. Because it usually makes them stronger. That's why I hate lycanthropy. Um, however, the nice thing about this transform is that it will not be traded. And so you don't have to worry about that Wraith doing doing death mark to you when it does skull damage or if it does skull damage to you. So it is okay to have this and use it and you really don't have to worry about them getting transformed into a Wraith. Oh, anyway, also notable as far as uh, legendaries go is Sharon Abog. This is actually one of the most... Um, one of the best things in the Soul Forge right now, and Sharonabog is the only troop in the game that will give you a dust storm every single turn. Start of every your every one of your turns, a new dust storm will be um, will be summoned, so you will have a perpetual dust storm unless he gets killed or stunned. So he also has skull damage reduction. He creates a ton of mana for you. Uh, mostly brown because you know you've got the dust storm he's creating brown gems he's exploding all the things really really solid troop from Hellcrag. as far as the mythics go of course the first thing that popped out at me is tina 9000 tina has really fallen off the meta but she is a it is a beast it really is and if you are doing an adana event or you're limited to mechs of course if you're using mech class she'll get a 50 percent mana start um but she does true damage to three random enemies she tanks up by gaining a bunch of armor it adds armor to skull damage uh 50% of the armor will be added to her skull damage, so if she ends up at the front of the team, she's going to do a ton of skull damage, and she has spell damage reduction by 50%. The only problem with Tina, the only thing that's that's keeping her from being super powerful, now she is very powerful, but she is a little squishy because she has no skull damage reduction, so... Um, if you are able to cast her fast enough, she's fine to run at the front of the, front of the team and do all the extra skull damage with, um, you know, by having her at the front. But she, otherwise, you know, she could die pretty quickly from skulls. All right, champion of guard. Eh. You know, he has 50% spell damage reduction, 60% skull damage reduction. It's really strong, but he never gets used. Um, I personally don't like using him. He gains, a, and he gains a bunch of armor. He's really hard to kill. Like, if you have ever run into him in PvP, you'll know how hard he is to kill. But um, if there are 13 or more skulls, you get double the armor and create a mix of 22 blue and red gems. That doesn't mean 11 of each. It could be a mix of... of um, you know, it could be 20 and 2. I, I don't think the... Maybe not that that much of a discrepancy, but they're not evenly balanced as far as the creation goes. Um, so if you need a... Um, sorry, if you need a Mythic for Sword's Edge, um, this one isn't the best one. Um, this isn't the best one, but if you want to get your power level up there and you don't want to wait till we get to Sword's Edge to try your luck with your event keys, then, I mean, it's an option. 
Next up, let's see, always here. Tiamata is okay. Um, damage to all enemies then create three 4x wild cards, which means you can possibly loop. Very nice. Um, but unless you get something to boost the magic, like the Empress or something, it just doesn't seem like Tiamata does that much damage. I mean, it is damage to all enemies, but somehow it just when I've used it, it just doesn't seem to work out for me. Um, but there is a chance to create the 2x wild cards every time you match 4 plus gems. You gain life every time an enemy casts a spell. Have skull but damage reduction. It's only a 20 mana cost, which is really pretty good for a mythic. But ah, I, I'm just not impressed with Tiamata. I need to work with this some more see if I can come up with a better team. But uh, next up, we've got Scoprio, which is... You know, it's kind of the poor man's uh, Scorpius. Uh, did they call it Scorpius? Mm. Yeah. Anyway, true damage to one enemy. Poison and three stacks of bleeds. If they're already poisoned, there's a 50% chance to kill them. You know, uh, Scorpius. I keep thinking of Scorpius. Uh, the other one from Drifting Sands. If they are poisoned, will instantly kill them. Period. And he hits two. So, not as good as the other one. But, um, you know, it's okay. It works. I, I'm kind of all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so tired. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. Yay! I'm just really tired. Anyway, as far as weapons go, what do we have here? Here's one in the 75 um, diamond cheapo ones. I do recommend getting the cheapo weapons if you can. If you're low, too low to get the better weapons, the 75 diamond cheapo ones will keep you from getting, hopefully keep you from getting weapon blocked. It is the hardest counter to getting your power le levels up in this game. Uh, but this one is going to do damage to the first enemy, triple damage if they use blue mana, and it will also barrier you when you cast. I have to cough. I'll be right back. All right, next up, we have Razor Claw. Razor Claw is one of those um, specific to Urskaya weapons. It's going to do damage to one enemy boosted by Urskaya allies. And then create a mix of six green and brown gems for each Urskaya ally. And mm, it's okay. It's okay. Um, this could actually... Mm, okay, so Urskaya. Okay, Urskaya the kingdom, not Urska. Okay, Urskaya. All right. Next up, X of the North. This one is going to do... Uh, this is for Urska allies. So actually, this one is going to be more useful overall because it's all Urska in the game and not just one kingdom. This will also create green and brown, which would make it really good to run with, what's it called? Defiance. Defiance is one of the, one of the sentinels we all have. If you're in a guild, you will have it, and it is a very powerful one. So... Um, this would be really good to run with um, with those. So of the two, I would recommend this one. Then we've got the Aegis of Urskaya, and this one it removes all brown gems. It's another cheap one. Damage to an enemy boosted by gems removed if the enemy is from Urskaya or the battles in Urskaya do double damage. You know, the same gimmick as usual. It will also barrier you, just like the other one does. Then we've got the Doomed Baton. Um, as far as dooms go, you know, they're really expensive. You should prioritize the most powerful ones. I'll put a link or some thumbnails will pop up at the end of this video explaining which doomed weapons are the best to go for first, in my opinion. But this one, the staves, um, let's see, what color is this? So, I don't think this is bad, except... It would be much more useful if it created brown gems instead of purple, but... Ah, the 900 diamonds, so definitely think about... Unless you're going to be weapon blocked, you might want to wait on a better... Uh, better is subjective, of course, but a better doomed weapon. 
to spend that many diamonds on, unless you're rolling in diamonds, of course. Anyway, I will move on. Erskine Cleaver. Erskine? Erskine? Anyway, this. Oh, explodey weapons. I do love my explodey weapons. Explode. Brown gems. Grant a random status effect to all Erska allies, then summon an Erska troop. I do love my explodey weapons, so uh, I have to have them all. This one uses red and green. And next, I believe we've got one more here. Is it just one? Yeah, one more here. Ruthless Defense. This one is another splitty weapon. Also explodes brown gems. This will give a random status effect to all Urskaya allies and summon a, an Urskaya troop. This one uses purple and brown. It's up to you if you want to choose. I mean, if you're having trouble choosing between the two, um, which do you like better? Do you like Urskaya troops or do you like flat out Urska troops? That's the question here. Anyway, sorry for being all over the place, folks. I'm going to get caught up on sleep at some point, but at least I'm feeling better. Anyway, have a wonderful day or night, wherever you may be. Check out the videos that are popping up on the screen right now if you're so inclined. Have a wonderful day or night. I think I already said that. We'll see you folks soon. <laughs> Bye.